What are you doing? Dealing with these awful movements. Oh, those are the worst. <laughs> what are we doing today? Suspension. Sus Suspenders. Sus Suspenders? Yes. Uh, tell the people, what do you got? What do you got on there? What are you, what are you replacing it with? I don't know. What are these? Lakewood. Are they QA1 springs? And then the Lakewood shocks. Lakewood. Our strut. Coilovers. Yeah, strut, whatever the fuck. And we're putting garbage. The strange front coilovers on it that have been sitting in the box for God knows how long. Hold on. Because it. <laughs> <laughs> it's <a chill>. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. I kind of went into my chest, sorry. Probably got Because uh, with these, if you push down on the front end, it'll stay there. Yeah, There's no rebound, nothing. Yeah, we should have done tests. I didn't think about it. All right, while MJ is uh, tearing this down, all he's doing, all he's going to do, leave the caster camera plates on there, loosen that top nut up, take those two bottom strut bolts out, and then... And I've uh, already done this side once. Yeah. We're, uh, did you tell him what you replaced it with, or did I miss that part? Uh, I, sure. I wasn't listening. I Strange. Are they single or double? Single. Single adjustable. Yeah, they were expensive. Uh, Hypercoil springs, whatever. 14 175s. A little bit heavier of a spring because uh, this will be a turbo car uh, here probably shortly. Um, but while he's taking all that apart, uh, I figured I might as well tell you guys where we're at uh, with a few of the projects around here. And then I'll show you guys where he's at in the coil with the coilovers in the next. I mean, this is a super easy swap. You should be done in five minutes. So by the time I'm done telling you guys all this BS. It'll be apart and take it back together. Yeah, be back. it'll be finished. Uh, MJ's car is pretty much I should pretty much wired. We did a lot of, uh, we just kind of threw it together to test everything. Um, we ran into some issues. Uh, the Holly HP works and everything. We were having trouble getting power to, not power to the coils, getting the coils to fire at all. Yeah. And uh, it was getting RPM signal and stuff. I don't want to go too in depth into it. Uh, just, I don't know. Just a little bit of bugs. And... I, I don't know how much people are going to care about it. I mean, some people probably will and want me to like go over it. And then some guys are like, ah, oh, fuck it. Car and carburetor for the win. We had to change the yeah. cam sensor. This Because the one I had on it was bad from the junkyard because I was trying to be cheap. Yeah. That's all right. I mean, at least you got the whole stick and everything. You know what I mean? Oh, geez. That thing hit me in the knee. Thought it was going out. But uh, we ended up, he ended up uh, putting a new just cam sensor on there. And now the coils are firing. Uh, it's just not running currently. There's a lot of other base parameters that we got to set. Uh, but at least it will fire and putter. Yeah. It's uh, trying to fire. So. Yes. So now it's just settings and stuff that... Uh, and the timing's probably wrong. Yeah, there's probably a lot of things that we got to figure out, but uh, yeah. at least it's it is firing. You know what I mean? And it wasn't. Because at first it wasn't doing anything. We went over wiring hours and hours worth of wiring, um, but my car, nothing's changed on my car. Tune sucked. We fixed it, and then the starter went out last night. Literally on the way to the race, cut the car off because it was getting a little warm. Uh, which I'm gonna explain to you guys here in a second. But uh, I went to start the car and started kick back a couple times. Uh, and now uh, we're pretty sure the star is dead, 100%. So what we're doing, the reason I shut the car off because it was overheating, I've had problems with this, uh, I shouldn't say the rear mount setup because it was perfectly good for, I don't know how many times I drive it, like eight? six or eight times of like long just cruising. yeah long cruises and it stayed it's got a 160 thermostat in it and it stayed at like 165 and it was perfect and then out of nowhere it started to leak and i'm pretty sure either it just it's low on coolant now um or uh you know since it's leaking and bleeding pressure off it's not cooling the car um, so I have to 
drain the whole fucking system now, which is a blast because I'm gonna have to re uh, bleed everything. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see that, but I'm gonna take it off. Well, I need a flashlight and I'll show you guys. Oh, dude, money, perfect. Um, so, I bought these Fragola fittings and I've been hearing. Shit. Yeah, I've been hearing a lot of bad shit about them, but right where, let's see if I can reach in there, in between these two, because this is like on a swivel, it fucking leaks in between there. So what I'm going to do uh, is I'm going to take this fitting off, sandblast it, clean it all right here, and I'll just weld it. It won't be a swivel fitting anymore, uh, but I ended up using... And I'm gonna go to, Jesus, there's so much shit. Uh, I'm gonna go to the truck and show you guys that, which some of you guys are probably pissed because <laughs> I, I drove it, didn't show you guys. Uh, but it's pretty much finished. I mean, finished is a uh, very loosely used term around here. But while we're talking about fittings and stuff, I figured I'd show you guys. These are Red Horse race. Red Horse, uh, hey, what are these called? Red Horse Performance? Yeah. Red Horse Performance fittings. And so these are actually made, and they're not swivels down here. And they're, you know, it's part of the, I guess, the machining process or whatever, you know, if these are built. I don't know what these are uh, made out of, but this is a solid piece. So there's absolutely no way it can leak from right here. And so I had also a lot of people tell me, Truck's not gonna cool, radiator's not gonna work in the rear. So it's got a, I think a 16 by 30 radiator on it. I'm not gonna show you guys a lot of it. Uh, I just put a 16 inch electric electric fan on it. And uh, it's got a 200 degree thermostat in it. And the car cruises, truck cruises at like 202, right around, you know, right over that uh, 200 degree mark. So, we're pretty happy with it um there's some other things that i have to change on it uh that i'll show you guys in another video but uh i think i've been rambling long enough mj you done yet yeah what the fuck <laughs> all right we're gonna start uh or finish these up and i'll show you guys when it's done it's super simple uh all you got to do is see if you get a, a setup like this just assemble this whole strut setup on the bench all it is, I mean, there's instructions and stuff. All it is is a sleeve, a couple jam nuts down here, and then uh, the collar, the bearings and stuff up here, and spring. So it's it's really easy. But I'll uh, I'll show you guys when we put this in and uh, show you guys what it looks like. <laughs> Didn't video shit. Well, we were both working on other shit. And you were working at yeah. first. I wasn't. You went to go edit film. And... Yeah. And then uh, MJ knocked out the coilovers. I ended up doing some other stuff around the house. But the day. Yeah. Got them on there. It's real simple. You can see where he ground down the uh, spindle. I still don't know. Maybe somebody can chime in whether you need to do that on V8 or a four-cylinder spindle. Or I don't know the difference. I had to do it on mine, too. Uh... But it's not, you take like a sixteenth of an inch off combined off of both, you know, like a 32nd off each side, side, and it fits right in there. It goes in there just like it should. And, uh, yeah, so now it's got good coilovers. Uh-oh, I moved it. It was in the center. I just said on the Mac Soft. Now it's fucked. Sorry, MJ. We'll have to redo it. Yeah, that's cool. I can still reach that one. Um, so yeah, they're good. I can't move it. I can't do the camera. Don't worry about it. They were so bad before. You sure you didn't slide in the max stiff? I don't know. Was it stiffer? No, it wasn't that stiff. Well, I turned it to the left. And crank it all the way to the right. It'll stop eventually. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah. No, I think they're just settling. Well, that's my thing. Mine were so stiff. 
Mine are so stiff. I forgot that these are a heavier spring. Oh, yeah, I did forget about that. They're set up for a lot more weight up front. And you got no water up here. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, that, that's about it. Super simple uh, install video. Yeah. He also got the rear end squared. Somewhat. Uh, yeah. The rear end wasn't squared at all. Got it squared up on each side. Um, now it's just the tuning part of it. Um, yeah, I, I think I need to buy, well, I just bought the tool to put the cam sink in because I didn't have it. And I just kind of slapped it in there from what I've seen. And it's not one that runs. So. Yeah, we, we were able to get it to kind of cough a couple times. Uh, so we we know that it, we're going down the right track. Yeah, we're getting closer, but uh, now it's just all software. Yeah, tuning stuff. So tuning, setting up the other little stuff that I want to put in the car. Yeah, and that's about it. It'll be able to drive whenever I get that tool and hopefully. Hopefully, or man. When somebody makes me an anti-roll bar. Damn, damn, he watches these too. I know he does. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> um all right well that's about it for this install mj's leaving and i will get back to you guys uh six weeks from now yeah i'm running out of shit to do so this is hopefully still <laughs> a few weeks in advance before you guys will see this um we need some racing hopefully i know well yeah i know don't i don't want to talk about it yeah uh, yeah i don't want to fucking talk about it so we'll see you guys next time